Welcome to Global Rocket Industries. My name is Professor Nitrate, and I will be your guide today on a look into the meaning. Here at GR Industries, 7,500 pounds of ammonium perchlorate enters and exits through our state-of-the-art facilities. My job is to prepare and educate you on the dangers and hazards that await. Now, Pay attention, because before you blink, your days at GR may be your last. If you bring your attention to the front board, this will give us an outline of today's lessons. Following this, we have a special guest, GR Industries President. We believe there are two basic ways to perform a task, the wrong way and the right way. When you perform a task the wrong way, it is dangerous, unprofessional, and can be life-threatening. But if you perform a task the right way in the workplace, it is efficient, safe, and meets with industry standards. This is definitely the wrong way. I think these guys know what they're doing. Again, this would be the wrong way down the ladder. The right way to wear proper protective gear. In order to start your training, it is important to identify and become familiar with the chemical being worked with. Here we have ammonium percolate. It has an appearance of a fine white powder and has a class 4 oxidizer. We will take a further look into this. If you have not heard of OSHA, it stands for Occupational Safety Hazard Administration. Ammonium percolate by chemistry is a strong oxidizing agent. And from OSHA standards, it is considered a class 4. Class 4 oxidizers will combust upon contact with some substances. They will also combust upon exposure to minimal heat, shock, and friction. These also increase the burning rate of other substances and finally can ignite spontaneously. The decomposition of ammonium perchlorate is a complex multi-step reaction. A large amount of chemical energy is released because of the number of stages and bonds broken in the reaction. Our byproducts are chlorine, nitrogen, oxygen, and water. If aluminum is added, we have combustion and t in the industry, safety is important and planning can provide reassurance that the company's employees are safe. Working and handling with ammonium perchlorate, it is necessary to perform your duties in an enclosed, well-vented area. Respirators may be used. Lab coats and goggles are always required. In case of spills, stop the leak quickly, avoiding contact with any combustible materials. Clean up the solids wearing protective clothing using the appropriate tools and water if necessary. Dispose of waste in the specified containers. Proper storage area for ammonium perchlorate is located in two isolated wings of our facility. In these areas do not have any combustible liquids, paper, or wood. What you are about to witness is not a Global Rockets Industries product. However, this can be used as a reminder that fire and explosive hazards need to be taken seriously. Ammonium perchlorate decomposes spontaneously at 300 degrees C. 
it does not support combustion lower than 2 megapascals. However, mixed with organic materials or molten metals and a heat source, rapid explosion and combustion will occur. When working in an environment with chemicals, it is important to be able to identify when and how you are exposed to these chemicals. There are four routes of exposure. Skin, inhalation, ingestion, and eyes. When exposed on bare skin, local irritation and a stinging effect may occur. Wash exposed area immediately with plenty of water. Remove contaminated clothing and footwear. When exposed in the eyes, there is a feeling of irritation and may cause a stinging effect. Flush eyes with clean water at least for 15 minutes. If exposed by ingestion, this may cause gastrointestinal irritation. Large doses may cause nausea and vomiting. Give water, induce vomiting, and seek medical attention. If exposed through inhaling, this may cause respiratory tract irritation, coughing, and shortness of breath. Proceed to get fresh air, administer oxygen if exposed person is unconscious. Do not give mouth to mouth. Many concerns for workers in the chemical industry are with the acute and chronic health effects. Fortunately, ammonium perchlorate is soluble in water which helps with entering and leaving the human body. In addition, extensive research for over 30 years has shown positive results. In the case of a large ammonium perchlorate, spills in the presence of other reactive substances or ignition sources, the first person to spot the spill must immediately report the incident to the supervisor, sound the alarm, and evacuate the building. Once in a safe location, contact the authorities.